as such time as he may consume, but hopefully only four minutes. The gentleman from California is recognized for as much time as he wishes to use. I'll make this very brief. I know we're up against the clock here. Mr. Schuster, thank you so very much for chairing the committee uh, during my tenure on it. And uh, Mr. DeFazio, also uh, for your leadership. I want to also express my appreciation to your new chair, as well as the previous chair of the committee, Mr. Hunter, with whom I was able to work over the last three years. For the record, I'll submit uh, my statement uh, in full. Essentially, this is a good bill. It covers uh, the things that the Coast Guard needs. Uh, it increases their funding to a level that is necessary. Uh, the uh, title of the bill is proper, Mr. Lobiondo, for your many years of service. Uh, we all thank you for that. Uh, there are a couple of things about the bill that I do want to speak to, and that is we have in the bill a backup system for the GPS that we so much rely upon now. Uh, it's finally going to get into the legislation. We also move forward with the blue technologies and the uh, autonomous uh, both air and underwater vehicles uh, that are going to be necessary for the Coast Guard to fully carry out its responsibilities. Uh, beyond that, there are some things in the bill that are a compromise, and one I want to point out uh, that is very important, and that is Section 834, to which I continue to object. Uh, this is a bill that actually allows for a aged wood uh, ship to ply the waters of the Mississippi. Uh, the Coast Guard correctly states that this, this vessel, constructed primarily of wood and operating an overnight passenger trade, prevents an unacceptable fire risk to its passengers and crew, and accordingly, the Coast Guard is opposed to this particular section. It's unfortunate that is in the bill. I would like to have unanimous consent to issue, to put into the record two letters, one from the administration, um, objecting to this provision, and another one from the uh, National Volunteer Fire Council. Without, thank you. Uh, with that, I think I've consumed uh, all the time allowed. I would simply close in this way. All in all, this is our third effort uh, successfully to pass legislation. I see the uh, majority council over there. John, thank you so very much for working with us. And on the minority side, David, uh, you're extraordinary individuals. It's been a pleasure working with you on this, the third successful passage of the Coast Guard reauthorization. With that, I yield back. The gentleman from California yields back. The gentleman from Oregon Reserve.